Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Lost Ark is releasing in the West in just a few days, but what the heck is even Lost Ark and is Indiana Jones in it? One of the possible resting places of the Lost Ark. The Lost Ark. With today's video, I want to help everyone watching figure out if this game is worth their time. Destiny has led you here. To give a better idea about what Lost Ark is all about, I divided this video in several chapters. We'll be checking out character progression, classes, PvP, the cash shop and what else you can do in the game. And there is a lot to do. You can use the little scrolly thing at the bottom to just uh, go wherever you want to. So first up, progression. Lost Ark is a linear game where your character travels through various continents, beats up the baddies, gets strong enough to move to the next area and then repeat. Lost Ark is very story driven, which also means that there are plenty of cutscenes and lore to go through or skip through if you're not much of a reader and you just want to Detroit smash some monsters. Regardless, there are a lot of cutscenes that you'll have to watch before you reach level 50, which is the point where most of your endgame content unlocks. For the release of Lost Ark, the level cap will be raised to 60 though, with even more continents to explore. Leveling between level 50 and level 60 can easily take a level per week though. Leveling to level 50 in Lost Ark doesn't take very long though. Gear necessary to progress can be obtained from quests and from completing story dungeons. If I remember correctly, it took me about 20 hours to reach level 50 during the closed beta while I was still learning about the game, so it can definitely be done a lot faster. However, level 50 is where the game truly starts and where most of the more fun dungeons and raids will start to open up. Leveling a Lost Ark is not done by grinding hours upon hours in similar maps, instead the fastest way to level up is just to follow the main questline. I will release another video in a few days, explaining more in depth how you can reach level 50 quick and efficient, so stay tuned for that one. But because you're leveling up through a set path and a set questline, creating multiple characters can be a bit repetitive in the long run, you know going through the same story over and over again. Once you've reached level 50, it is pretty common to create alt characters that you can then use to start running even more raids and dungeons for even more gains. There are some mechanics in the game to get to level 50 instantly for the price of some gold, but I did not see that during the CBT, maybe I missed it, I'm not sure if it's there or not. If it will be added for release, I'll again make a separate video about that as well. So once you reach level 50, Lost Ark is all about your dailies and your weeklies. There are multiple systems that can make your character stronger and various upgrade mechanics that require materials that can only be obtained from raids and from dungeons. In the early game, when you're still working towards reaching level 50, all content can be done solo, but it does help if you have a party member running around to complete quests quicker, but later in the game, group play is a must-have, like that's the big focus of the game. Dungeons and raids also require a gear score, so finding new gear and upgrading it is a big part of your progression. There are a ton of ways to upgrade, like for example enchanting. You cannot destroy your gear if you fail, but you do lose the materials needed to upgrade. And if you fail too much, at one point there's a chance to get a guaranteed upgrade, like a pity system is there as well. But because you lose your materials, it is important to have alts just to get the necessary items and gold back again. So that's it for progression, let's check out the classes next. There are 15 classes available at launch, 3 warriors, 4 martial artists or fighters, 4 gunners, 2 mages and 2 assassins. There are no true tanks in the game but there are some classes like the Gunlancer who are able to tank just a bit more damage than others. All classes are basically DPS classes except for the Bard, which is part of the Mage branch, and the Paladin class, which is part of the Warrior branch. Those classes are supportive and while they can be built for DPS, it's just not all on the same level as the other classes. These two supportive classes, the Bard and Paladin, are in very high demand at higher level and are basically welcome in every party. Classes in Lost Ark are gender locked, but the developer is working on releasing classes for both genders like the Gunslinger and Deadeye, which are basically the same class with some minor differences. All classes have their own unique playstyle, which I went over in my what main to pick video that is appearing as a card in the top right right about now. There are more classes which aren't available yet at launch, like the Artist class, which I will cover in a video later this week. I'm planning to do a lot more content as you can tell. Tomorrow I'll upload a PvE tier list for all classes, that's the next video. Every class unlocks skills as they level up and have an identity skill which is unique for every class. For example, the Shadowhunter class that I'm playing can transform to gain more damage, HP and new attacks. While the Berserker can, well, as a true Berserker, go into some kind of enraged mode and, like, destroy everything. Skill points for your skills are acquired from leveling up, quests, the adventure tome, which I will go over in a little bit, collectibles and much more. But you'll get most of them from simply leveling up. 
Those skill points can be applied to boost skills and unlock special effects for every skill, from increased damage to lower cooldowns to other effects. The tripod system is a, in my opinion, fun way to customize your skills for the way you want to play. Your skill points can be reset at any time for free, so you're free to do whatever you want and experiment with your skills. It is also common to have different builds for PvP and PvE content. Speaking of PvP, there are three types of PvP in Lost Ark. There's regular PvP, island PvP and guild versus guild PvP. For regular PvP, there is a free-for-all mode, a last team standing, where every team has three members that they send in one by one, and a team deathmatch. PvP in Lost Ark is purely skill-based. Your item upgrades and how strong you are does not count towards your damage. It's a completely leveled playing field. Classes in Lost Ark are pretty balanced, but there are some classes that are better at PvP compared to others. Island PvP is more based on minigames, and Guild PvP is a weekly guild event where players from one guild can battle another. This has to be done on an island, and the winner will play on the island for the week. This PvP can be combat based but it doesn't have to be. PvP can reward some PvE related materials but it's not necessary to do PvP for your progression. So about the cash shop. Lost Ark is free to play and doesn't offer blatant pay to win items like for example some fully upgraded gear you can just buy to one shot the highest level dungeon stuff like that. Most items sold are mounts, pets and costumes. There is also a 30 day special service that can be bought that gives bonuses like free to use tripods, reduced crafting time for your stronghold and other minor buffs. And while these are advantages, I think they're pretty mild with my current understanding of the game. What is nice though is that items like the 30 day service or revives that can be used in dungeons can be bought with a special currency called crystals. These crystals can be obtained from quests, achievements, they can be bought for gold, the in-game currency, through an NPC, and through royal crystals, and royal crystals are the ones that you will be buying with real life money. So if you don't plan on ever spending any money on this game, playing the game long enough will give you the same benefits as those who will pay just a bit slower, with the same access to the same cash up items, except for some skins, pets and bounds that are only exclusively available for the real life currency for those, uh, for those royal crystals. Pets and bounds are also obtained through regular gameplay and are vital to get around quickly, like your mount is super vital, super important. You'll be running, you'll be spending a lot of time on that thing, and pets will loot for you, which is also super nice. Pets can also do a lot more other things like repair items, have their own inventory, they can like help out in a ton of ways. You can get those features by paying for them with crystals, the ones you can also get through gameplay. Those effects need to be renewed every 30 days though. There also are a ton of things you can do in Lost Ark besides your daily dungeons. There are life skills, quests, relationships with NPCs. Each area has their own adventure tome that can be completed. This usually involves like defeating a field boss in the area that you're in, completing the quests in the area and completing the dungeons, all that good stuff. You can get your own personal island that can be fully customized with furniture and your own house that can be fully customized with furniture as well. There are monster cards and there's no joke, a gazillion little Mokoko seeds that are hidden throughout the world that can be collected. There are treasure maps that can be found randomly that lead to hidden dungeons. You can get your own boat and set up a crew to become the Pirate King. You can explore different smaller islands. Sailing is actually a big part of the game as well. With a ton of content to explore around the world, different weather patterns in each area. Your ship and crew can be upgraded and this ties into your own island as well where you can do your own research for various benefits. Lost Ark is a crazy big game with a ton of things to do. If you do decide to pick it up, I do recommend to take it easy and learn the mechanics bit by bit so you don't burn yourself out trying to do everything perfect at once. Besides with free skill resets and upgrading that isn't that punishing, you cannot really make any critical mistakes anyway. That's about all I had to say about Lost Ark. What do you think about Lost Ark yourself and will you be playing it? Let me know in the comments. The early access for founding members starts on the 8th and the full game is available on the 11th, so just in a few days. If you are interested, stay tuned for the tier list video that I will be releasing tomorrow and a training guide video that will be released on Tuesday. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Als, Terry Kim, Varies, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Alonso, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Knife Su, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Majaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Steve. TV Zang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heyo Pan, Simak, Striker Elk, Martin Panziak, Niu, Tidal One Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Riser Ryu, Gummy Bullet, Lucky Beats, Lovebird, Rev Soli, Surtito655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Renark, Gernando Balavia, I'm Disappointed, my name is Copperson and I'm super cute XOXO, PC Game Life, Yo Mama, Dante Victory, Stanislaus Kusumo Begas, Black Poro and Caveman, oh yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and see you next time.